Think of the example of a man who is a porter, who is at a train station carrying bags of people from point A to point B, getting 50 pence a throw. And suddenly, a rich man comes, walks out of the train with a can of milk, and he says, young man, I will give you 10 pounds if you carry this can of milk from here to my place, which is about a mile down. And this man is excited. Wow, 10 whole pounds. That's like 20 trips that I've been making at 50p each. I'm going to get it one throw. He says, no problem, sir. I am experienced. I will not drop your milk. And you know, they put the milk on top of their heads and they balance it. These porters are experts. They actually can run with it. Don't try it, but they can do it. They will put it on their heads and run with it. This man puts it on his head and he starts walking and he's smiling from ear hole to ear hole. Allahu Akbar. And he says, oh, I'm going to get 10 pounds just now. And I will go straight to buy two chickens. And these chickens will lay eggs and I will sell the eggs. And when I sell a few eggs, I'll buy a third and fourth and fifth chicken. Then I'll have a foul run. I'll employ 10 guys to run that place. Then I will buy more chickens and I will sell eggs and chickens and I will slaughter chickens and open a little abattoir and I will be able to get those chickens across to the butchers. Then he says, after that, I'm going to buy sheep. And then I'll buy a little farm and on that farm we'll have so many sheep and I'll sell the little sheep as well as slaughtering them and providing the butchers with halal mutton. Then he says, thereafter I'll buy cows. Wow, but look at him. 10 pounds. He's talking to myself. Just 10 pounds. But this is forward thinking. Beautiful thinking. It's really good. He's got a plan. Wallahi, he's got a good dream. He's not planning haram. He's planning something good for his future. Then he says, and after that, I will move further and I will have a whole farm and I will go into crop and I will be able to harvest and I will be able to sell. And then I'll buy the big buildings in the city. That one and that one and that one and that. And by the time I'm the biggest businessman around, the girl I went to propose for last year, because her father's the mayor, they said no to me. They will get to know about me themselves. And when they get to know about me, the father will come and say, will you please marry my daughter? <laughs> And when he comes, I'll be so upset, I'll tell him, no! <laughs> so when he shook his head, the can of milk drops. <laughs> when he shook his head, the can of milk dropped. When the can of milk dropped, the owner of the milk turns around and says, Hey, didn't I tell you I would pay you 10 pounds for this milk and not to drop it? He says, hey, relax, relax. You know, that's my favorite word. Relax, take it easy. You just lost a can of milk. I lost my chickens and my eggs and my, my sheep and my cows and my farms and my buildings. And 600 people lost their jobs. And at the same time, I lost my marriage and my whole life is gone. So just keep quiet, okay? What's the moral of that? The moral of it is one small distraction in your life can shatter your dreams, my brothers, my sisters.